it's no longer one country, two systems. It's becoming just one. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Dallas, Texas. It's great to have you. People coming here to Dallas, to the New City Summit from 51 countries, are looking for new ideas, exchange best practices, looking for ways to shape their vision for the future. I think nothing matters more than our cities. Unless we figure out how to create more inclusive, dynamic, uh, creative cities, we're going to be in trouble. Everybody knows that the world is changing, that whereas people used to flee the cities, now they're coming back to the cities. One of the big benefits of having this kind of a conference is the fertilization of ideas and sharing. And every year we gather about 800 people from all over the world to really nurture and be at the forefront of the best thinking about this century of cities. That it brings together um, a very broad range of people uh, in terms of uh, people that are thinking about, quote, new cities. And each time the summit moves to a different city on a different continent, we get a different set of experiences and a different set of ideas. The New City Summit is designed for people to leave inspired, energized, but also with at least 10 very actionable things on their to-do list. I always say if we can't get something done in six months, we can't get anything done in six years. And so it's theory and practice that have to come together. I mean, I think that one of the most important things about this conference is it's giving kind of a new voice to government, right? You're trying to interject a lot of youth, a lot of the energy that's coming out of some of the most amazing companies these days that normally cannot even get a foothold into any of these cities. Sometimes people get they're too surrounded by people like themselves. And at New Cities Foundation, they might run into someone from a different city that actually sees the problem very differently, or maybe someone from a different city who solved the problem. And so I think these conferences are very useful from that perspective, provided that a lot of these discussions don't stop there. So whether it's the corporate community, people coming from the world of transportation, energy, technology, together with public officials, people from the world of finance, academia, architects, urban planners. These are not normally groups that talk easily together or talk often together. So we provide that platform and I think it's, you know, when you get those people in the same room, an amazing conversation takes place. If you have one person sitting in one city thinking this is the way to do it, another person far away thinking this is the way to do it, they may have two good ways, but if they talk to each other, they'll get five good ways. Well, I think this is a global conversation, and I think this is the eminent place to have it. Uh, this is, a, uh, I think, the, a world-class event, the event, uh, to talk about urbanization, innovation in, in, in both new cities and our old growing cities. A lot of our work is about igniting in people a sense of what's possible, and so having the chance to do that in an audience so diverse and impactful as the one that's here is really exciting, and hopefully we can do just that, give them a little spark of idea and tell them we can make things differently and let's work together to do that. I'm, I'm very proud that modestly we're contributing to making cities a central part of the global agenda, and I think we're well on our way to doing that. For me, it's incredibly gratifying to know that what we've done here in three days will have really a lasting impact on, uh, on Dallas and the world. Mm -hmm.